We're back with, you guessed it, another Doff Links Future Pinball Table Mod Demonstration. This one is my latest mod, which is of Slam Tilt's fantastic Tron Legacy Ultimate Edition for Future Pinball. No, this is not a recreation of Stern's Tron Legacy. This is a completely all original table. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I've always loved this. And, uh, you know, I've been slaving. Oh, hold on a second here. Forgot my coffee mug here. You know, getting this stuff done requires a lot of time and effort put in if you want to get all the extra bling and animation and really cool stuff in there. So, you know, it's a combination of some, some coffee. You know, and then after that, maybe a little bit of monster drink thrown in. Mm. Ah, it's a lot of work, but you know what? You guys are worth it. So now that we have that out of the way, I say let's get on with the demonstration. Okay, so we're ready to go. Uh, if you've never played this table, uh, it's basically following the story of the movie. You start off in the real world and then you enter the grid and you progress through the storyline just like you do uh, in the movie. So basically, uh, if you'll watch, uh, you'll notice the undercab lighting does change depending on different uh, things happening in the game, whether it be uh, a multi-ball mode or uh, if whatever uh, random character bonus you're on. I'll explain more as we play along. Uh, very cool table to watch, worth watching through the entire playthrough. I guarantee you've never quite seen a table like this before. It's very, very cool. Uh, over a thousand lines of Doff Links code and you know subroutines that I added to this thing for all the different effects and everything. So uh, it's worth watching. So uh, let's get underway. I'm not a program. My name is Sam Flat. All right, so if you look in the center, you'll see uh, the randomizer going between different characters. Uh, when I launch the ball, it'll pick one character, and then uh, the undercab lighting will change to whatever uh, color that character is, and the flashers will also go off with that same color. Uh, Flynn is white, uh, Sam is red, Cora is cyan, Jem is pink, Jarvis is red, uh, Clue is yellow, and uh, Zeus is purple. So uh, let's get underway. All right, so right off the bat, we've got Zeus, and it's purple. Uh, so you got your normal. All the solenoids fire off like they would normally do in a cabinet. The flippers, solenoid, or for the slingshots, for the bumpers, any drop targets, and the uh, kickers, which right now, the kickers don't do anything because we're just uh, in the normal uh, the real world. Tron. It's a security program. It finds anything going on that's not scheduled, it shuts it down. So you can see, like, you know, they're, they're kind of booting you out, because yeah, there's nothing else going on right now. So uh, you also have your bits down here. The, fl the flash with uh, each uh, one that matches up uh, with the location. And if you happen to go into uh, the drain here, he'll <laughs> also do that. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, you also have uh, the kickback. If you hit these, you'll activate the kickback. Now, again, nothing fancy going on right now because we're not uh, in the grid yet, right? So, uh, and yes, I'm using the ball roller. It's just easier that way. So, when you go to the ramp, the grid. you'll notice uh, he kind of tells his story a little, and uh, it's green because we're in the real world. The colors of the, tra uh, the computer. trail effect will change up depending on what mode you're in and what the progress is in, in the game. Motorcycles. And With you'll the notice these like arrows flashing uh, to show that, you know, the multiplier is getting higher. Uh, so there's that. And uh, we have the orbits, of course. Uh, Sam. You know, so the white and Sam animate or uh, flashers go off and match up. And the key yellow ones on the right match up. Uh, so, a couple things we can do here. One is uh, we hit all these targets. And then we've unlocked video game, which is going to be in the game's uh, shoot here. So when we go in there, we're basically going to play uh, the original light cycles from the old uh, Tron movie. So uh, let's give that a go. I play video games better than anybody. Ah! So basically, you're playing a quick time event. It's pretty cool. It's like you know, it's like a video mode. Uh, but a really cool one. So uh, you have to use the flippers. Uh, if you do the correct move, uh, one, you'll get a yellow trail effect because remember, 
In the old movie, the light cycles were actually yellow for the good guys. It was reversed for whatever reason. I don't know why. If you do the wrong decision, uh, you'll get a red trail effect, or if you're too late, it'll do a uh, flashing red. So let's do, see if we can win this one. Oh, I forgot. We gotta... Alright, so let's get in. I play video games better than anybody. There you go, and every every time you uh, do the correct decision, uh, you'll get a blast from the blower fan, uh, sort of like a whoosh effect. So, the other thing we can do, uh, what we have to do, is we have to hit the Tron targets. So once we've done all that, you'll notice uh, the arcade machine, the, the Tron arcade machine in the corner, now has opened up. So now if we go there, just like in the movie, uh, we're going to find ourselves to the laser aperture and we're going to enter the grid, so that's what we're going to do. That's pretty cool, like the way uh, the, the animated effect matched up the laser and everything else and then when it went to the digitizing effect, the, the animation routine just kept cycling and I just had it automatically shorten the timer so that it would make the animation effect quicker and quicker and quicker to make it like, you know, kind of like you were being digitized and uh, put into the grid. I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. And then uh, also the shaker motor kicks in just at that moment. It gives it a nice, you know, combined effect. So you can see here now that we're in the grid, things are changed up a little. When you go to launch a ball, you can see the kind of like the colored discs on the right side uh, animating. And I have all the flashers and the undercap lighting matching that as you go. And same thing when we launch the ball off. All right, so now, again, we, have, we got Zeus again, so it's, uh, it's purple. So, a uh, few things here. Uh, one, kickback is a little different now. It's not just a normal kickback. Tron, he's alive. It's the Rinsler power shot, and yes, Rinsler is Tron, in case you didn't know. Spoiler alert. Uh, you know, so I thought that was cool, having a nice, cool little effect to shoot that off, and then uh, you'll get the shaker uh, go off as well. And, so uh, another thing, when you go on the ramp now, because we're now, now we just got on the grid, it's red, right? So we have to go on the ramp uh, four times, I think, in order to progress so that we can unlock the armory to get our identity. There's been big mistakes. So we do that four times. My name is Sam now, if you happen to... Uh, they uh, hit the ramp, come down, and then hit the, uh, the ramp a second time quickly, you'll get some kind of a jackpot or combo bonus, depending on what's going on. Now, another thing, I don't know if it'll do it here. Okay, it did. Cool. So, if you saw, I did uh, I did the orbit there, and then when I came back here, it's got like, kind of like a magnet save. So, the idea is that if you're flying around very quickly, and then you come back down here, it won't drain. It'll catch the ball on you. At least that's what I thought it was intended for. Uh, so, you can see now we can go into the armory. Uh, to get our identity disk. So uh, before we do that, uh, if you hit the Tron uh, letters here, it does a random uh, bonus, and you see the flash was all going off with random colors uh, to match that. All right, so now we're gonna go into the armory. Preparing complete disk activated and synchronized. Proceed to games. All right, so now we have our identity disk. So guess what? Now the ram will be blue. Okay, so uh, now we have a couple things we can do. We can uh, either uh, do uh, clue ball, which is these targets up here, and then uh, you got to hit the bumpers a whole bunch of times, or we can go into games. Uh, so uh, to go into games, basically uh, you hit all the legacy targets. Here. Okay, so that, now our uh, disc wars is ready. So. A couple things we can do. We can either keep hitting these, and you notice it's opening up. Now the armory down here is opened up. So you can either go there, or we can go up into games here. We can just work, and that's what we're going to do. All commands, prepare for disc wars. Alright, so you saw there, 
It was a mini game of disc wars on kind of like an elevated play field. The idea is, yeah, you have to nudge left and right to try to hit the different warriors, and you have to hit all of them uh, to win the round. Now, depending on what goes on, you, you might get a second chance to complete that round. Uh, so, this is one instance where having a digital nudge actually is nice, because uh, I find Future Pinball's animated, or, uh, analog nudge is not a proper nudge, uh, whereas digital seems to work really well. So, uh, so we're going to try going back in again. Alright, so this time I'm going to cheat. So, yeah, you'll notice that if you hit the walls, it's going to be red. If you hit a warrior on the left or right, if you hit a warrior, uh, it'll be blue. And if you get all the warriors, and then you and then you actually hit the exit, then you win the round. So that's what's going to happen here. And watch watch its cool effect. I won! I won me out! All right. So at this point now, because we've done a, a, few, a couple rounds. Uh, we can try to do light cycle battle if we want. Uh, I'm gonna try to go and defeat uh, Rinse the rest again. So you have to win two rounds to do that. Again, I'm gonna cheat. Okay? <laughs> I'm just kind of, uh, you know, trying to show you guys here, so. I won! I let me out! And again, whenever you get a jackpot or a bonus or you win like that, uh, then uh, the shaker goes off. Uh, the fan goes off, and the strobes go off, and also, I don't know, the, the recognizer here, uh, when that raises up from the playfield or lowers down, the gear motor inside your cabinet will also operate to match that, you know, just like, you know, as if it was like a real one. Uh, so now we can do one more round. Now this time it's going to be ringing. Okay, Alright, so all you gotta do is hit him on the right. I'm cheating. Sorry guys, but... <laughs> I won! I won me out! Alright, so there we go. We defeated Rizzler, and we got lots of bonuses here. Alright, so now... Uh, we can do a couple things. We can do a uh, blue ball, or we can do life cycle battle. So, I want to do a uh, blue ball. So, to do that, we gotta get these targets here. So we hit all three of them, that allows uh, the, the, I think these are called the power discs. So you'll notice the bumpers, which I'll point out look like the original Tron discs, you know, from the original movie, which it was basically just a frisbee. But you know what, it's, it's cool, I think it's cool that Slam uh, puts uh, a bit of the old and new together in this game. So if you hit this enough times, now again, we're doing two things, we're unlocking the armor, but we're also uh, getting a clue uh, hit. So you can see there, the clue hits are also awesome. So when we get enough of the clue hits, so, alright, so now, you can see it's flashing down here, so if we go into the armory, uh, shoot, we're gonna go into clue ball, so we'll, we'll do that now. What an intro, you gotta love clue, man. So basically the backlighting now is all yellow, uh, the flashers were yellow, and uh, our ball is now yellow. So when we launch, the flashers are yellow, and if we now go onto the ramp, I took the system. flashers are yellow again. So, Alright, so the whole point of Clue Ball is that you want to get Flynn's disc. To do that, you have to get uh, the power disc. That's why they're flashing. So if we get it, this enough time. All right. Where are you now? So now we have to shoot games in order to try to get Flynn's uh, disc. So that's what we'll do. The key to the next frontier is finally in our possession. All right. So we got some big points and got an extra ball. So now that we've got that, uh, we're gonna move on. Uh, all right. So we're gonna go into uh, light cycle uh, multi ball. To do that, we gotta do five orbits. Go around here, and you can see the Sam lighting up and blue lighting up. I think that's pretty cool. It's like kind of like it is in the movie. All right. Little indicators uh, on the side there for the orbital orbital increases. All right. So ready for light cycle multi ball. So this is cool. Grid is live. Initiate light cycle battle. I've been waiting a long time for this. You got no chance, user. 
The bricks are faster than ours. Use the levels. You wanna play? I'll play. How friggin' cool is that? You got the whole play field changing up, backlash changing up, you got the awesome music, the awesome video, you've got the ye three yellow uh, light cycle multi balls you gotta fight against. You know, pretty friggin' cool. So the idea is to try to get the enough of the balls into the shoots uh, to defeat them. If they drain, then they'll scream. And so we'll just play play through it and see what, what we can do. So here we go. Alright, so I, I, I got one of them. Uh, but uh, I failed, so I gotta go back and do it again. So uh, you saw one of them uh, exploded there and gave a nice... Uh, Blower effect and shaker effect. Grid is live. So if you go up the ramp, you'll see Sam uh, do a video clip and uh, slide into Clue, and then uh, you'll get the trail effect, and, uh, a blower fan effect, and all that. And because it's Sam, it's a white trail effect, right? So that's why it changes. So here we go. show you right here when I go up the ramp because I had uh, a couple bikes uh, before, so uh, let's uh, continue on with the uh, Zeus mode here. All right, so with Zeus, basically uh, the, all we're doing is we're gonna lock a few balls and then we're gonna go into Zeus multi-ball. Now because it's Zeus, again, when we go through the ramps, now it's purple because uh, that's the mode we're about to be uh, going in. So uh, you can hit all these, it's still the same old stuff as before. Uh, so, uh, we'll lock one ball here. looking for someone. I made you say that. Intermission. And we'll lock another one up in the corner here. Looking for zoos. Indeed. Many are. And one more. Up here. I am Tasta, your host. Provider of any and all entertainments and diversions. At your service. Alright, so this is like a typical modern ball mode. All right, so if you go up, up the ramp on this thing, you'll get the jackpot. All right, so now that we're out of that multiple mode, now we're approaching uh, trying to get to the portal. So now that we're in that mode, if you go on the ramp, it's still purple because we haven't gotten to the portal yet. So we're going to hit all of these targets. All right, so now Zeus coming on, telling us we gotta get our butt to the portal. Now if we get the ramp. Cyan. So we're gonna go and uh, get to the portal and see if we can do it. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. Finish the game. Nothing else to do. We kick butt. We're good. We're done. Oh crap! I guess we're not done. I gotta suggest the challenge of the good. Alright, so what we got here is a, the last uh, little mode that we can do. We're trying to hit every target on the place we have within, uh, I think it's like 40 seconds. Uh, so, if you look, you can see the animated flashers. They increase how quickly they start cycling and flashing uh, the closer you get to your time. I just basically make the timer reduce itself out of that. See so if we can do it though. I don't, I don't know if I can get all of them. Ah, crap. There's the rest of them. I always have a hard time finding them all. Oh, crap. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Ah. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. This is the Master Control Program. Congratulations, player. You have outstanding skills and have proven yourself by beating this table's greatest challenges. What a cool 
freaking game. I love this game. Well, I gotta say, the mass control program, he's sounding pretty young, you know, for someone who's been around since the 70s. I don't know, that voice sounds a little familiar. I'm, ju I'm just saying, I know he's still British, but come on. Alright, seriously, cool, cool game. Love this game. You know, much cooler when you're actually playing it and the action's flowing normally and naturally, you know, it's really, really cool. And uh, one of the things he's done is he added it so that when you are done a game, if you have a ton of points, you could buy like an extra reward for the next game that you play. So it could be an extra ball, it could be uh, starting in the grid, you know, depending on how many points you have. You know, kind of like money, you know, instead of just uh, getting the highest score, you know, it allows you to... Because I, I, I didn't beat the game, I completed the game, but I didn't beat it. To beat the game, you have to do that last uh, challenge of the grid and get every single target. And I didn't do that, so... And there you go. You know, that's, that's, that's the, e the end of the game, and then you can start another round, and if you get to the challenge of the grid, I think it remembers how many targets you did. I'm not sure for the next game. I can't remember, but I'm going to try draining out the balls, uh, and then you can see the new mode I was talking about, or the, the option of buying in. Alright, so we're on uh, the last ball here. Uh, had to split up the gameplay a few times because it got interrupted here, but uh, I had a lot of extra balls here, so I didn't want you guys to just sit there watching me do this, so... Uh, so, now that the last ball's done... Sam, you're messing with me, Sam. Take it out. What's next, Sam? I guess we're supposed to change the world. Game over. Identify yourself. Alright, let's see the high score. Congratulations, you there. Look at that. He saved us. He really did it. You have ranked the highest of Gotta love old school Tron. Well done. All right, here's what I'm talking about. So yes, I'm gonna spend points for the next game. So you have a choice, depending on how many points you have. You got, uh, well, a, a few things here. You can have another ball, add another five seconds for ball savers, starting a grid, you know, pre pretty cool. So that way, the next time I play a game, then I'll have that advantage there. So that's pretty cool. It gives you incentives to, you know, try to follow up on, on your gameplay. So I think it's pretty cool. So, there we go. I don't know how you survived. So when next time I start the game, I'll automatically be on the grid. I don't even have to try to work towards it. So thank you for following me through this uh, journey. Uh, very, very cool table. It was a, a, bit, a bit of work uh, to add that stuff in there. It may, I don't know if it comes across that way or not to you guys, you know, but uh, it's a, a lot to put in for all those extra effects and uh, the shaker effects to match up with the video clips and all that kind of stuff, you know, but it, it's worth it. You know, very cool table. So uh, if I make another video, I hope to see you in that one. I don't know what the next table will be, but I'm sure it'll be a, a very cool one. So uh, see you in the next Doff Links video.